hello everyone hope you all are doing great guys today in this video we are going to understand how to configure nat or how to perform natting network address translation if we have more than one local area network if we have more than one private network as you can see over here in this scenario we have three lan which is connected to router one router one is my edge router which is connected to internet this is my internet router fine so here we are going to understand how to configure nat or actually i will configure pat port at this translation but we had already discussed that how to configure pat and how to configure nat if we have one local area network right but here you can see we have more than one we have multiple local area network connected to edge router right to router number one as you can see we have three network 10.1.1.0 20.1.1.0 and 30.1.1.0 so we need to perform netting for all the user right in my private network so that translation will perform for all the user to a single public ip address which is running on serial zero slash serial 2 slash 0 okay so here we are going to understand how to configure NAT if we have more than one local area network or if we have more than one private network this is one of the interview question one of my uh, paid student have received this question in interview as well and one people uh, were requesting on Facebook to make one video that how to configure NAT or how to configure PAT port address trans translation if we have more than one local area network more than one private network okay so without wasting our time let's begin guys here between edge router and isp i am going to run one public network that will be 101.1.1.0 slash suppose 30 okay and as you can see in lan 1 i am running the ip from 10.1.1.0 slash 24 network so here on this pc i will define this ip address and on the interface f0 slash 0 of router 1 we will configure suppose 1.100 that will become default gateway for the user who is connected to who are connected with switch 1 right in the same way we will configure all lan first then i will show you how you can enable netting all right for the all user okay so guys without wasting our time let's begin the session first of all let me configure ip address on isp router because as you know we are not allowed to configure isp router i will configure only ip address here okay so let's go to global config then interface serial 2 slash 0 say no set and ip address suppose ip address here i am going to run ip address from network 101.1.1. suppose 2 submit mask is 255.255.255.252 let me create one loopback as well here interface loopback one that will be 8.8.8.8 or .8 .8 .8, uh, 255.255.255.255 okay fine if you want to verify it so ip interface brief exclude unassigned right so you can see ip configuration right let me save the configuration and let me close the session here i am not going to configure anything else on isp router now let me take access of my edge router here uh, okay so first of all let me create wan interface so go to global config mode again go to interface serial 2 slash 0 this is my wan say no set and IP address is 101.1.1.1255.255.255.252. Let me check the connectivity between router 1 and ISP. So, do ping 101.1.1.2. Uh, .1 so, yes, I am able to ping success rate is 100%. Let me configure uh, this interface as outside. So, IP NAT outside. Right. Let me do same things on. LAN interface as well. So interface F0 slash 0 say IP address is 10.1.1. Suppose 100.255.255.255.0. Fine. And IP NAT inside. This is your inside interface. Let me configure interface F0 slash 1 also say no set. And IP address is 20.1.1.100.255.255.255.255. Zero and IP net inside. Okay, IP net inside. 
okay i think i have forget to run no sat command on f0/0 so let me write no sat here also now last interface interface f1/0 say no sat and ip address is 30.1.1.100 255.255.255.0 fine so ip configuration on this router is done interface f1/0 say ip net inside as well okay now if you want to verify the configuration so ip interface brief exclude and assign okay you can see these are the ip configuration on this router okay let me create one default route toward isp so ip root 0.0.0.0.0.0 serial 2/0 and 101.1.1.2 this is how you will configure default route in in real time fine now let me create one access list so we need to create access list so that we can define these all user in a single access list right so i am going to create access list and going to run three permit command here okay so ip access list standard and number is suppose 10 then permit 10.1.1.0 wildcard mask 0.0.255 here let me do same thing for 20 network and for 30 network fine now if you will verify access list so ip access list right you can see i have created a standard access list number 10 and i have uh define three command here right 10 20 and 30 now i am going to enable net over here so first of all if i will ping 8.8.8 from here you can see i am able to ping right but if i will ping 8.8.8 from my lan interface source suppose fast ethernet 0/0 it will not ping right so here we need to configure netting now okay so let me configure net go to global config mode guys if you like this video please hit on like button right i know there are lots of view on my video but there are very less like okay so ip <laughs> net inside source and uh, match source from the list 10 right so list 10 and destination uh, uh, translation ip address will be from the interface serial 2/0 and here we need to add one keyword that is overload to enable pat okay now you can check ping 8.8.8 and source is fast ethernet 0/0 you can see i am able to access internet in the same way i a lan user which is available in network 2 can also ping internet and from 1/0 as well you can see right that means all user can ping right suppose there are uh, 200 user here there are 200 user here and 200 user here right for all of them are able to access internet yes or no so this is how you can configure net if you have multiple net so interviewer can ask you this question in interview that tell me if we have more than 3 or uh, we have more than one private network connected to edge router how we can configure how we can perform netting translation okay so this is how you can perform translation now let me configure ip address on pc 192.168. not 192 na 10. Dot ip 10.1.1.1/24 and default gateway is 10.1.1.100 okay now if you will ping from here also you can see ping 8.8.8.8 i am getting reply yes or no okay now let me tell you some verification command on the edge router how you will check the net configuration so run and section ip net so these are net configuration here you can see i have run this command okay if you want to verify access list so so access list okay if you want to check translation that performed by this router you can run so ip net translation okay so here you can see translation these are translation icmp traffic okay so this is your inside local ip address this is your inside global 
IP address. This is your outside local IP address and this is your outside global IP address. Fine. Okay. So hope now it's clear to you. If you learn something from this video, please make sure you will hit on like button. If you haven't subscribed my channel, subscribe this channel. We will meet soon in next video. Till then stay safe guys. Bye bye. And if you want notification whenever I will upload next video, please click on bell icon. Thank you. Thanks for watching.